Hey guys, so I'm back with another braided hairstyle this week. I have this Innocence Easy Braid and I've been wondering all week, what hairstyle should I do? Because to me, I feel like I've done it all, although I haven't done everything, but you know, it's every week. So I decided why not make some big blue bantu knots with these, okay? <laughs> I decided on it and I went with it and this is what I came up with. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, just continue watching. So the hair that I use for this look is the Innocence Easy Braid Rainbow and I have it in 30 inches. This is the color T1B slash blue slash light blue. So it's rainbow because all of the colors are like rainbow colors. So you have the dark blue and the light blue mixed together which is this one that I have right now and it comes in so many other different colors. I wanted to get one pack of each color just to like <laughs> go carnival crazy but I decided not to do that. So yeah. Yeah, um, it says here that it's pre-stretched, itch free, tangle free, quick dry, ultra light and hot water set possible. So I'll let you guys know if all of this is true as we go along. And of course you gotta have some edge control for this look. I use the Even New York 24 hour ultra super hole edge tamer. And what I basically did was I went ahead and added two cornrows on the side of my head. Now I know that I wanted cornrows coming down to the sides, but I wasn't so sure if I wanted them um, coming down like from up within my hair or if I wanted it coming from the bottom, like from the back of my head coming up to the front. Like I wasn't so sure. So I did it both ways, um, decided on which one I liked, which was the one that's coming down from up between. <laughs> my hair and yeah I just ended up changing the first one that I did which was you know the one coming from down coming up um, I changed it and yeah I went with that also what I love about this hair is that it has so much movement to it you know normally when you braid your hair it's very stiff until you dip it in hot water this one has a lot of movement just by putting it in your head like I think this would be so good if you do some regular box braids because it's 30 inches long and it moves really nicely so I love that about it so once I was done with my cornrows I went ahead and started parting my hair I know I wanted like a triangular diamond effect especially at the front so I started parting my hair accordingly and I just separated them with some rubber bands now you're gonna need some edge control or some beeswax something to keep your hair down keep it in place so what I'm gonna do is basically make some small ponytails in my hair and I'm gonna be using the edge tamer to do that as well so I'm gonna make some small ponytails make sure it's neat it doesn't have to be tight and it doesn't have to be parted perfectly because I know that can be hard if you're doing it yourself um, mine was not parted perfectly but I think once it's neat it looks good so once you have a neat look and I think the edge control helps you have a neater look so once you have a neat look you should be fine and basically what you're gonna do to create this bantu knot is start braiding your hair now I split one pack of braid into four so that's how much I used if you're interested in you know knowing how much I used I split each braid into four and then I started braiding one okay so I braided it onto my hair and I braided it all the way out to the ends of my hair so wherever my hair stopped that's where I stopped braiding and I did that just so I can lock in my hair and that way it's not poking out or sticking out anywhere and make sure to add some edge tamer or some you know edge control at the ends of your hair that way it would keep it in place you know because I have a tendency of going wild so <laughs> just make sure to add some edge control or some gel something to hold it down and after that I just went ahead and started twisting the rest of it out not twist as in two strand twist just hold the hair together and just twist it like with your fingers you guys are gonna see what I'm gonna be doing but just twist it with your fingers all the way out and then start wrapping that's how I know how to do the bantu knots maybe you have a different method you could share it in the comment section down below but that's how I know how to do it so I just started twisting and then started 
started wrapping it around and what I did was make sure that the ends were sealed underneath. Once I finished wrapping it around, I sealed the ends underneath as in I wrapped the ends all the way around, all the way around down to the tiniest piece, <laughs> down to the tiniest end. I wrapped it around and then I took a rubber band and put it over it so that I can secure it as well. So that's basically what I did for all of them. Just in case you're wondering, overall I used four packs in total. It wasn't like a full four packs, but you can pretty much say, that I, say I used four packs in total. So once I was done, what I did was I added some jewel jewels to the braids. So I added one each. I actually wanted beads, but I didn't have any. So I had to use some jewelries and then I decided to just curl the ends of it because it does say that it's hot water set possible. So it is definitely hot water set possible. It is ultra light, like they say, tangle free. I think we'll double, we'll come back on that one because <laughs> It did tangle a little bit. Um, quick dry. It was definitely quick dry. Itch free. Well, I haven't had any itching since, so I'm pretty good. And of course, it is pre-stretched. Um, but yeah, so I just curled the ends of the braids and added the jewels and that was pretty much it what i was supposed to do was trim the back of it and well not trim the back but like trim the entire thing and i didn't do that because i think the front of it i couldn't see so <laughs> at the back i didn't really know that i had to trim it until i was like looking at the video all over again But this is pretty much it you guys I just thought I'll do something different and this is what I came up with um, I think this would look so much better in a natural color to be honest I think this is more of a you know some type of photo shoot hairstyle with this color but nonetheless um, I think it was cute so like I said I will probably definitely try this again with some natural colors maybe I'll do them smaller next time or maybe the same size I don't know um, but anyway guys let me know what you think about the hairstyle of course I did my nails to match with the hairstyle I went all out for this color <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm already going blue. Why not just go all out? So that's what I did. But anyway, like I said, um, everything will be linked down below if you want to purchase this here. And like I said, it comes in so many other colors. So go in. You can try different colors. I mean, it's summer, so why not? And let me know what you guys think down below. Like I said, thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.